Blessings. Blessings. <laughs> Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I'm just coming out here to do a little harvesting. How about y'all? What y'all got going on today? Oh, buck. Yeah, so I'm going to grab some of these tomatoes that's down here turning red. Woo. See, this little plant look like it's trying to get a little blight on them, but I can't complain because this thing's done well. I still got tomatoes on it. Wait a minute. Yeah, let me let y'all see. <laughs> I'm going to grab some of these tomatoes off this thing. This is my little Amish paste tomatoes here. I'm going to grab that in case that rabbit steal that one. Oh, grab one over here. Amish paste. I got so many tomatoes in the house. <laughs> there we go. Look at the tomatoes, y'all. Alright. Under uh, I'm just let everything else just uh, continue to grow. I mean it's starting to be tall up though. Turn, I ain't gonna lie. You know, red and stuff. Make like my food. I'm good though. That's cool. Just keep as long as you producing. I still got producing tomatoes, even on this little one with the little raggedy leaves. Look like this one. Went through some blight here. Thing tore up, child. <laughs> huh. Oh, yeah. We got a lot of rain. Uh-oh, I'm going to leave you alone because I need you to turn red. But, uh, yeah. That's why I made sure I planted more than enough. But, uh, I still got tomatoes up in this bad boy. You better I'm going to let y'all, uh, do your thing and whatnot. Okay. Yeah, I still got tomatoes. Now, don't get it twisted. Don't let a few leaves throw you off. <laughs> Don't let a few of them throw you off. So that's all the tomatoes I'm going to grab. Hey, what's going on over here? Girl, let me find out. What's going on? I found one tomato. It's like crap. And I'm going to toss it. Mm -hmm. Girl, yeah, throw that in the trash. Well, that's mm -mm. I got a gang load of tomatoes, though. So uh, that's pretty good. They all on the counter and the window seal. I'll just come over here checking on this little cucumber like a book trying to get to you. Like, we can't be having all that. All right, bumblebees, I ain't even going to go over there with y'all. As y'all see, I done pulled out a bunch of my uh, <laughs> zucchini and uh, squash and the little two spaghetti plants I had because they just was not producing. So I just pulled it. We cannot have nothing in the backyard paradise that ain't doing what it needs to be doing. I mean nothing. A couple of banana peppers. Just a couple. This thing right here, it's just been producing so well. It just instead of I, I pulled a bunch of banana peppers off of it, like I've already showed you in previous videos, and that thing is still growing. That's good, child, because I ain't know we was gonna make it. Uh, got a couple of jalapenos. Now I'm gonna let the rest of y'all get big. Hang on. Pull too much. Oh. Peppa, Peppa! Uh uh, girl, sing that song! <clears throat> Peppa, Peppa, I'm just Peppa. over here checking on these bells and other stuff, see what needs to be done. Um, see if I need to grab an okra. Ooh. I have definitely got to do some weeding this weekend. Uh, look like an okra, but I need to go get my pliers for this one. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do because I have a bowl of black eyed peas I need to pick. So I'm going to holler, holler at y'all. Give me a moment, okay? <clears throat> All right. Now it's time to grab some black eyed peas. So that is what I'm walking towards. Let me check on something while I'm over here. I'll be trying to see how big my uh, cucumbers are trying to grow. Nothing to harvest over here today. Y'all still little. Okay. Over to the black eyed peas. So remember, as I told you, when they start turning yellow, just get your picked on. And literally, be weary of black eyed peas. Because once you start picking them, here they go. <laughs> they turn yellow fast. And you'll literally be out here every day. 
picking them. Now they don't have to be completely yellow. Like I say, the main thing you want to look for, you see kind of like the, the logo. You can kind of see the inner print of the black eyed pea symbol between it. That's how you know. All right. So they can be yellow, kind of yellow. That's a good indication. Obviously, they're real yellow. You took a little too long. So hurry up, hurry up, <clears throat> hurry up, harvest it. And that way you can get the shelling. But this is one of those plants that if you need plenty of something, you're gonna get more than enough. Because you'll be out here picking these bad boys every day. I still ain't shell the ones from yesterday. And honestly, I was busy. <laughs> but gardening, it can do that for you. Sneak up on you and have you working. The harvesting part is my favorite, though. So, even though that sometimes gardening is hard work, it's work that you appreciate because you did it. You're going to appreciate anything that you do yourself. I don't care what level you on, if you have success growing something, I don't care if all you can grow is just some beans. <laughs> if all you can grow is just some tomatoes. Everybody have their strengths and weaknesses, and that's kind of what this whole community is all about. <clears throat> Whatever we don't know, we share, and we help each other. And that's it. I clearly don't know everything, but I know enough. I did pretty good, because, like, if you go in my house right now, I got lots of peppers, lots of onions and garlic. I still have onions and garlic that I harvest from early this year. I mean, they everywhere, too. Everywhere. Keep in mind, we're just a family of seven. That's just me, my husband, four children, and my mom lives with us. <clears throat> and my kids, I'll be honest with you, they eat like vegetarians. Them <laughs> babies don't eat no food. They trying to do better. Not insulting a vegetarian, but I'm just saying they don't really eat a lot. They eat, but they really picky. But you can get them to eat more sides than anything. And they don't like a lot of meat either. They like mostly seafood. I mean, well, that's meat. And so that, I mean, they that's just about, that's for the most part what they'll eat. One of my well, two of my son. Oh, bumblebee. Look at that bumblebee in front of me. Like, don't, don't be sneaking up on me. I'm gonna tell you, if that bumblebee stay me, we don't have a problem. I ain't, listen, I don't want to. Look, look, look. Where you go? You little short self. Trying to get you on here. Look, I, I, I don't want no problem, okay? I'm just. Look, look, don't come over here. I just want some um, some beans, man. Go on. That's it. And hopefully, I don't sneak up on nothing over here. <laughs> As you can see how wild black eyed peas grow. <clears throat> but yeah, my kids, they eat mostly like vegetarians. They don't, they really do not eat a lot. I'm trying to get them to do better. One thing I noticed that <clears throat> when you start growing your food though, they're more likely to try things out of the garden because they knew you grow it. Or especially if you get them to help you, it's like they have more of appreciation for it. They'll eat it like that. But like... Even with some of these veggies, like if I was just to buy them right at the store. And I don't even think it got anything to do with whether they're in the store or not. But, you know, ideally they don't like it. But for them to watch something that grows direct. I'm sorry, I'm trying to dodge bumblebees. There's bumblebees all over here. They like these flowers that's on the beans. <clears throat> but, uh, you know, I guess it's just the idea of watching something put in the ground. Especially they like to come out here and help water things or pop a seed in the ground for me. You know, it just, they like it. Just because they got to watch the process. So they'll try things like that. I can put veggies and stuff. Like if I make them a smoothie, they'll try it. <clears throat> and keep in mind, some of the green ones you see me plucking. But those are the ones that's kind of like almost turning yellow. And they, they, and they will turn yellow just sitting on your on your thing. But like I say, when you see that in uh, the logo imprint between it, that's how you know you can go ahead and pluck it. Cause you don't want them to be over yellow. It's just like when to start getting some yellow tint to it, you wanna go ahead and pick it. So here's an example, like if it gets real yellow, it'll start to shrivel up. Or like this one, it's yellow and then it's starting to turn brown. You wanna go ahead and grab that because you don't want it, want it to dry out. You wanna hurry and pick it. That way it's nice and fresh. You still got the bean intact inside. And you can, you know, whatever you're gonna do with it. So, <clears throat> but like I said, this is one of them things you'll be out here every day 
And to be honest with you, of course, I'm not going to do videos showing me harvest black eyed peas every day. I will if you want me to. But at the same time, I don't want to bore you I'm showing you the same thing every day. Because literally, this is one of those you'll be out here every day picking them. But I'll show you whatever you want me to show you now. That's no problem. If you want to see me <laughs> pick them, I will. I try to offer something new. But sometimes gardening is, you know, it's not necessarily <clears throat> exciting every day. Because some sometimes, depending on the season and what you grew, you know, it could be a lot of the rep repetitive, uh, repetitive stuff. And so I don't want to make a boring video from y'all showing y'all that every day. But, um initially i want to come out here just a little bit just to show you you know for those of you that are not familiar with black eyed peas that are not familiar with them i just want to show you how productive they are because they produce almost every day well they produce every day i don't care if you just get a handful but ideally you'll definitely get a bowl full and i'm not even finished as you see i'm still picking <clears throat> and aside from what i'm not picking that just simply means that they're green and they, and they have to grow but you still see they here this whole thing like i said my bed is four foot wide it's over four foot i don't know if it's <clears throat> probably about eight foot wide now like for instance you see how long these vines come out now let's go the bed is here it's the bed is right here all right but i got vines that come all the way out these vines they get long so you see i'm not exaggerating them vines yeah Yeah, baby, okay. I'll be in a minute. How did Littons get his milk? Did somebody put it on the floor? He was on the top of the table. Get him. Sounds like the cat stole somebody's milk. <clears throat> Don't let him steal. Don't let him steal. I'm coming. Let me just finish harvesting. <laughs> but, uh... I just want to show you how productive they are. <clears throat> and I'm not finished. I mean, you see how far I got in there already. And like I said, this whole thing, I showed you how long those vines are. It's full of beans. A lot of them are still green. But I'm literally, I'm just out here harvesting whatever I can find that's yellow or like almost yellow. Like some of these now, I can see I need to leave on. But by this afternoon, what I'm not picking now, <clears throat> it'll be yellow by the end of the day. <clears throat> so some really productive um, plants that I can tell you that you can get a lot from. Black eyed peas, sweet potatoes. You sure can. Um, mm. Well, I'm sorry, sweet potato, they don't keep producing, but you get a bunch of them if you plant a lot. So let me, let me rephrase that. I would say black eyed peas. I would say kale, um, any type of herbs, you get a lot from it. <clears throat> lettuce, when you grow it, but lettuce, one of them things that you can, um, you can cut and, you know, it'll still sit intact and still keep producing leaves. <clears throat> I think most beans, period, you can get a lot from, but black eyed peas, you definitely get even more from, I'll say that kale it you know it grows like a tree now i've actually pulled all of my kale now because it's no longer fresh but i've had a lot of it when i had it and i'll be planting some more for this fall because this is pretty much you know the season where i'm about to be getting ready for the fall <clears throat> which i'm kind of already doing trying to gradually clear out the beds as i see i don't i no longer need anything my first bed over there where i had my zucchini and squash it's kind of like that i'm about done I'm about ready to almost clear out the whole bed because <clears throat> I was having problems with pests. And so I went ahead and pulled some things because I don't want my beds getting all disease. Trying to give something a chance that won't produce. That's just a waste of everybody's time. And like I say, some of them are kind of green. But they're pretty much going to turn yellow. And like I say, it's because I can see the, in the imprint. That imprint, like this one kind of green, but you can see that yellow tone to it. Because like I say, if you leave it on too long, it'll look like this, where it's dried and shriveled up. The cool thing is, if you can't find the bean inside of it, what you can do is save that and replant it. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty, yeah, pretty much replant it. 
let it dry out like it's you know supposed to properly for those of you that know how to save your beans and yeah you can replant each bean that's in in these uh pods go on bumblebee i'm just getting some um um some bang on beans man I'm trying to grab as many as I can because this is a job that also can be, I don't say aggravating, but you know, just like, okay, you excited at first. I'm like, dang, I just picked and then already again, again. And it's like every single day. That's how black eyed peas are. It's like one of the plants you kind of got to come out here. You got to grab them. You're like, you can't just leave them out here again because they'll dry out if you don't pick it. And you don't want it, want it to dry out. And literally, everything that I'm not grabbing, not everything, but it's going to be a lot by even this afternoon that's going to turn yellow. When that sunlight get to it, that's kind of what you're dealing with. And of course, for me personally, it's, I'm saying for me, it's kind of too hot to be eating black eyed peas. So pretty much what I'm doing, I'm harvesting them and I'm going to bag them and freeze them. That's it. <laughs> bag them and freeze them this is good eating right here for me for the winter time <clears throat> now like i said i did thought about trying it uh to eat with that salsa i ate just see if i can eat it as a nice cool snack or something i don't know i might try that <clears throat> either way i'll have more than enough and this happens easy <clears throat> but this one of them plants is so forgivable they even when I grab something by the whole stem, this thing, it produces and produces and produces. You, you cannot be at a loss with this particular plant. It grows and it won't stop. Literally. <clears throat> and for those Don't worry, y'all. I'm going to get to know, that bed. <laughs> I, I that really am. I promise. Or or whatever. This bed is literally, it's four. The bed itself is... Uh, four foot wide, 16 foot long. To try to get me some weed that so long, that child. It's been a idea. minute, but it's too hot for that. No not weed. saying that's what you need. That's just saying that's just the size of my bed. <clears throat> just if you was curious. That's the size of all of my beds. They're four foot, six, 16 foot long. <laughs> and even on this other side, I can still see I left some yellow on that side, and I'm on the other side of this plant. It's easy to skip over, and that's cool. It's forgiven. <clears throat> As you'll get to know me quick. It's Friday, y'all. What y'all got planned? What's for dinner? I don't know. It's feel like Friday. It's kind of like the week of, okay, let me just try to hopefully relax this weekend. <laughs> now, if you're a stay-at-home mom like me, there's no such thing as necessarily relaxing because you're always busy. I got four kids. <laughs> but I enjoy it. I enjoy my babies. They are truly blessings. <clears throat> They're like the life of the party for me. Keep me active. Because I was more bored without my babies. I actually have fun with my babies. They could be a handful. <clears throat> but it's just, they like, they the life of the party. <laughs> they keep me going. Look, bumblebees, I hope none of y'all don't sting. I'm, ooh, goodness. <laughs> Please don't sting me. Please, Lord, don't sting me. Please. Look, I ain't trying to steer from you. This is my food, though. I grew it. Oh, God, I hope that bee don't sting me. I mean, he's just a buzzing around me. He act like I'm messing with his territory. You better not build no comb over here because I don't know nothing about no bumblebees and honey. I buy my honey from the store. Ugh. I put my bowl over here because that thing up there trying to stain me. Oh, I hope ain't nothing in here waiting on me. Y'all gotta be careful when you got woods and stuff and you're trying to get bit. Not nothing. Ooh. Okay. What is this? Is this a weed that just didn't grow up in here? <laughs> okay, you got to go. If I didn't grow you, don't be coming over here. I don't know what that is. Yeah. Wish y'all had some, uh, wish my sweet potatoes would have grown. <laughs> look, man, look, B, look, 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 look. Go on now, it's my bed. I can get in my own bed if I want to. Hey, 
Yeah. I'm trying to make sure I ain't leave nothing over here. Okay. Oh. Whew. I will tell you, I'm not going to dig through this thing like that because this thing loaded with bumblebees. Goodness gracious. I like these bumblebees got beef with me. Uh-uh. I'm not dead. Grow all of this. I'm saying. The re I'll tell you what I'm doing. The reason why I'm digging. I planted some sweet potatoes that uh, <clears throat> because I held them out so long, trying to wait on some dirt. And I was just I double checking. Sure they didn't all these bushes. Uh -uh. <clears throat> and I'll I'll show you why. But anyway, this is all the black bees I'm gonna grab for now and for today. Yeah, that girl. Okay. <laughs> but I'm gonna tell you why. <laughs> I was over here in my little herb garden. So I had planted some sweet potatoes over here as well. So I just went ahead and say, you know, they're all dead, right? But for some reason, at the last minute, I end up see this uh and which one this one might be? Uh let's see. This is the Virginia red sweet potato. Okay, I'm gonna put you back. The reason why I was concerned. Look here. See these leaves? They're sweet potatoes. <laughs> Somehow, there uh, maybe one or two plants is underneath making some sweet potatoes up here in my herb garden. Now, I don't know if I'll be able to harvest them, but uh, they are over here. <laughs> See, these are the leaves of the sweet potatoes. See how they just kind of over here in my herb garden? And so what happened was, I actually thought it was a weed. <laughs> I said, uh-uh, these Daddy, weeds are growing smoking? all in these earth because, like I said, I'm going to start going ahead to clear out all my beds. And I'll probably do more of that this weekend. I may or may not do it this weekend or next week. <laughs> but, um, I was just trying to pull out a couple weeds. And then, like, dang, I got sweet potatoes in here. I pulled the plant. I said, wait a minute, that's a dang old sweet potato. Make some power with that bad boy play with me. <laughs> now, I don't know if there's any hope saving it. <clears throat> this is the one I actually grabbed. Probably not. Just so you know. This is what the uh, the sweet potato uh, thing look like, and it'll produce all these little roots. So what I'm doing right here, I'm basically seeing if I can save it. <laughs> Since we'll I see, child. It if not, that's okay. Um, what I'm hoping, because what I'm running into, I'm gonna start my process again for sweet potatoes, because I really want some sweet potatoes this fall. I don't <clears> understand a sweet potato. And if I can find them online, that's kind of the thing. I can't find them right now online. Um, if I can find them, I'll order them. But they pretty much been sold out. And, um, you know, I know this is the year everybody kind of getting their prep on. So I really don't know if I'll be able to get any more. I'm praying that I do because I really love sweet potatoes. Mine's actually be pretty big when i um grow them so i'm hoping i can get them actually i'll be honest with you i do better with sweet potatoes than i do uh is this a dang old cucumber over here oh, i'm gonna put no cucumber over here but i actually do better growing um sweet potatoes than i do regular potatoes i can grow potatoes and i do pretty decent but i do better at sweet potatoes and i do um, I do pretty good at uh, the red potatoes. Y'all, I got a dang old... I don't know. Oh, I got a cucumber. Well, plant, apparently, I got a cucumber plant over here. That one <laughs> so, instead of complaining, I'm just clip that bad boy and grab it. How about that? <laughs> you better ask oh, yeah, he been over here a minute, too, because he all got them little sharp edges on him. Oh, what's this? I don't remember putting no tomato over here. Okay, so let's see. Oh, okay. Well, apparently I got a cucumber plant over here and didn't know. That was my main thing, trying to make sure I put something everywhere. Oh, okay. Here you go, cucumber plant. Well, um, I don't know if you're going to produce any more because I see look like another little one on you, but it looks kind of yellow. I don't know. We'll find out. I'll just leave you here and see what you do. Uh, is that ducks? Hmm. Okay. Well, I'm gonna grab that. And to be honest, I'm thinking about going ahead and grabbing those um 
watermelon because I told my husband. Um, I told my husband, uh, them watermelons ain't going to get no bigger because I could have sworn those were the sugar baby um, varieties. The sugar baby varieties that I had grabbed. So I'm going to put this over here. Y'all give me a second. I'm going to take this in. Okay, y'all. I'm going to um, go ahead and grab this watermelon. So here's one. Okay. And here is two. So I'm going to grab those because I need both of my hands. And give me a moment. All right, y'all. This is my harvest for today. Okay. Got a big old bowl of black eyed peas. I got an okra. I got a spiky cucumber here that I didn't even know was over there. I got two. I believe these are the sugar baby watermelons because these things are not getting any bigger. And I've had them for a while. So I think those are the sugar babies. And those are my tomatoes and peppers for today. Not bad. Now imagine trying you to buy did that, that girl. <laughs> and keep in mind, I still have lots of tomatoes in the house. I have lots of onions and garlic from spring in the house. I have lots of peppers. I, like a farm's market, um, I have lots of, you know, pretty much the stuff I already showed you. I mean, you see, I still got tomatoes in the house. See, that's that's in the window. I got it's on the counter. Now so. who's gonna yell them tomatoes? <laughs> and pretty much, as you see, about to be like a lot of black eyed peas. Them okras are gonna start taking off. I'm, I'm probably tired of picking all my black eyed peas but, uh, too. We gonna stop it's this. Been a fun year, um, so far. So I I can't complain. But anyway, I'm going to get this stuff in the house. I hope you guys enjoy your Friday. Eat good. Tell me what y'all eating on tonight. I like to know what y'all eating on Friday. So Tell why you to me a plate. I tend to make a good meal that I like. <laughs> anyway, y'all have a great day. Fabulous life. All that good stuff. See you next time. Bye.